Today I'll be showing you how to easily farm lots of exotic weapons and legend levels using GRE Aberrations. First of all, in order to unlock a GRE Aberration, you will have to defeat the GRE Anomaly, and then come back to the arena, and here you will find a poster that can initiate the boss battle. And from here I will show you two locations that you can use to farm different types of extra items. But before we get to the actual locations, you need to get Carnage Hall weapons that one-shot every single enemy. Now if you don't know how to get them, which appears to be most of you, it's actually very simple. All you have to do is go to Carnage Hall and select a story mission. It has to be a story mission if you select any other mission such as a boss fight or a parkour challenge, this method will not work. And you won't be able to collect any weapons. Now once you start the mission, for example a knight in Haran, you need to find a weapon. In this case it will be a military machete. In order to get it, start by cancelling the mission and then right before you exit pick up the machete. And it will be permanently in your inventory. So once again, right before you cancel the mission, pick up the machete, and that's how you get this weapon. Now of course, I'm using a different type of weapon that also comes from the Carnage Hall, because I think it looks cooler. But it doesn't matter what weapons you use, because all of them has extremely high DPS. As you can see, they almost one-shot GRE Aberrations, which is obviously very useful in terms of farming. The first GRE Aberration, will be located in the central loop. The reason why I chose this particular boss fight over all others is because, first of all, we have a demolisher that comes with the GRE aberration, which is great if you want to farm unique infected trophies. But most importantly, because the anomaly jumps right towards you, allowing you to kill it really quickly. Sometimes it can decide to jump a bit further than you, but you still can get it in a matter of seconds. Unlike in all other GRE anomalies, where you had to run around the entire arena just to get one hit on the boss. Overall, it takes about 15 to 18 seconds to kill the GRE anomaly and to get one pilgrim crate, which means it will give 200 crates per hour or just 10 exotic weapons per hour as they drop from every 20th loot box or so. But this farm isn't all that great. Thankfully, there's an even better one in Old Villador. If you come to this location right here, you can find an even better GRE operation that dies from a grapple attack. Now, of course, in order to actually do this method, you have to upgrade your grappling hook to the max level so you can grapple enemies. Now, in order to successfully execute this glitch, you have to jump and grapple the boss at the moment when you get to this stump. So as you can see, I am trying to jump on the stump and at the same time I grappled the GRE Aberration in order to defeat it. Of course, you wouldn't be able to execute this strat every single time, but that's why we have Carnage Hall weapons to deal with the boss extremely easily. In addition to this, there are poisonous goons in this area that drop 5 rare infected trophies each, which is extremely useful because for some reason, rare infected trophies are harder to farm than unique ones. This is by far the best GRE aberration farm, allowing you to kill one boss every 8 seconds, meaning that you will get a total of 450 pilgrim crates per hour, which translates to 23 exotic weapons every single hour, if you get really unlucky in terms of exotic drops. But that's not all, because for every defeated GRE anomaly you also get 6000 legend XP, which translates into 2,700,000 legend XP per hour, which is probably enough to fully upgrade your legend levels, at least I hope so. Now let's actually look at the exotic weapons we have. I've been farming these GRE anomalies for a couple of hours, so I have a lot of exotic weapons that I will show you right now. One feature that all exotic weapons have in common is that despite dealing more damage than legendary weapons, they have less durability, which means you will have to repair them more often, which is a small price to pay for weapons like these. So that was all, thank you all for watching, remember to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.